Can I ask your help? My husband and our dog are missing. I can see the red eyes of the undead from here. I'm worried. We're both capable with a blade, but he's no match for the undead. We were at Crestshade. Ignobert and Xandir were trying to get some merchants to safety when a swarm came down the street. We planned to meet up at the tower in the distance, but the undead... There are too many of them. He's there, or he's dead. If you'd be willing to take on the vampires, take my dog whistle. Xandir's been trained to come straight to anyone that blows it. He's a smart dog. Smarter than my husband sometimes. Xander will find him for you. Find that dog of mine, will you? Next time he wanders off with the pup, he's going to have to get Xandir to drag him back. <laughs> We're more like freelancers. You can go far in the world with a strong sword arm and a little courage. My mother wanted me to be a seamstress, and Ignobert's family were cloth dealers. Turns out, we both hate making clothes. We're quite the match. Welcome to our little oasis in the wilderness. Out there, vampires, giant bats, blood fiends, and here, frightened villagers, bad food, and poor company. All the comforts of home, all things considered. What? Every day, my future becomes more and more bleak. My sister ran off to Cyrodiil so long ago, I can barely remember her. And my brother... He's dead set on being a bandit. A bandit! My own brother! Stefan says it's better to die fighting and getting ahead in life, instead of dying in a puddle of mud in a refugee camp. If the bandits were cleared out of the Orc's Finger ruins, my brother would have no choice. Here, let me show you where it is on your map. Even if you don't go there yourself, you should be aware of the dangers of this part of Rivenspire. I just wish my brother understood that danger is not better than squalor. Killed the Duke. like you can defend yourself. Welcome to Camp Tamrath. And by the light, we'll be ready for the Mad Lizard. We were tracking him when we ran into these poor displaced people. We threw together this camp to shelter the refugees from Crestshade and the surrounding countryside. Since my sister decided to visit, I must secure the camp. To this end, I need someone to find Jonah Moroz. Jonah claimed he could sense Rizal Jewel, made the other refugees nervous, he and his mother fled the camp and disappeared. A good soldier relies on solid information, as well as a brave heart and a worthy weapon. Is there anything else you want to ask me before you head out? I've met a few Argonians in my time. An interesting bunch, connected to nature, calm, strange sense of humor. Rizal Jewel is nothing like that. He's evil to the core. Where Montclair found him is beyond me, but he's served the Baron for years. Spreading chaos. He's using some sort of blood curse to turn innocent people into mindless blood fiends. Makes them feral. All you can do is kill them and put them out of their misery. By the light, it makes me so angry. His mother was trying to keep him quiet, but Jonah was agitated, made everyone nervous. RK knows these people could use a bit of peace. It's not safe out there. They'll be safer here, I think. They may be hiding in one of the nearby towers. Honestly, I have no idea. Perhaps Jonah is just seeking attention. Perhaps he isn't quite sane. 
Whatever the case, we need to find them and bring them back here so that I can then turn all my efforts to locating Rizal Jewel. She claims that she wants to be here when we finally catch the Mad Argonian and that she wants to reassure the refugees with her presence. But I think she's really here to check up on me. I'm not sure she actually trusts her little sister. Yes, yes. My full name is Genevi Tamrath, second daughter of House Tamrath and captain of the Shornhelm Guard. I'm proud of my heritage, but I don't expect my house connections to open any doors. I want to be judged on my merits, not my name. My sister thinks I don't trust her, but she's always been my shield and my sword. She has things here well in hand. Genevi wants to resume the hunt for Rizal Jewel, but not before she's certain this camp is secure. This is just awful. Did you pass through Crestshade by any chance? Do you know what's happening there? My wife, the mayor of Crestshade, made me lead this group away when the fiends attacked. I keep hoping she'll walk into camp any moment now. No. Please, no. I knew I shouldn't have let her talk me into leaving. But she was the mayor of Crestshade. She said she needed to stay behind. Please, tell me what happened to her. I must know. Ah, oh, my dear, dear wife. She so loved helping people. She cared about Crestshade with all her heart. Thank you for bringing me this news. I was able to grab some of my wares as we fled the horrors in Crestshade. Good merchant must always be ready to help his customers buy and sell, you understand. <laughs> and I am nothing if not a good merchant.
Xandir. Oh, thank the divines for you, pup. And you as well, stranger. Did he come and find you? Oh, he's such a good boy. My Natalie. Worried about me. And I'll make sure to tell her about that when I get back. But if you help me up, Xandir can lead me back home. Leave us alone! I don't want to become a blood fiend! Bad ones are still here. I can hear them thinking. I can. Make them go away. They want to take me to Rizal Jewel. Mother is scared.
Stop talking to me. Bad voice, go away. Mother, please help me. We'll make you better, Mother. I promise. Quiet. The bad one will taste your words on the air. He's coming closer. Blood fiends accompany him. So many blood fiends. They want our blood. I saw Riz Al Jewel in a dream. It was the night Crest Shade was attacked. I could feel his presence. Now I always sense him. He watches, he waits, he's, he's, he's coming for us. Mother's worried sick about all this. Mother, mother's fine, 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 fine. I'm fine too. We're all fine here. Fine, fine, fine. No, no, no. That would be bad. I scared the others. They didn't like me. Besides, I don't want to draw Rizal Jewel to the camp. Tell the captain I'm sorry. I'll stay here. Maybe he'll leave the camp alone if I hide here with Mother. Captain Genevi is missing, half the refugees are dead. Healer Odile is doing what she can to help. What a disaster. The blasted creatures came out of nowhere. That happened so fast. If you're here to help, speak to Countess Tamrith. She's moving around the camp, tending to the wounded. They're just trying to find some place safe, but disaster seems to follow after them. Was attacked. I don't know where to go or what to do anymore. We thought we could protect these people, but we were wrong. The vampires overwhelmed us. Countess Tamrith has been trying to gather the survivors. Talk to her when you get a chance. Have a moment's warning by RK, the vampires. They struck so fast. When the vampires attacked, Genevi and Darien charged right into the thick of the battle. I lost sight of them since I stayed to defend the camp, but I could hear Genevi calling out orders. Perhaps some of the guards saw what happened after that. Here, take these healing poultices. You might as well help me tend to the soldiers while you're talking to them. I'd appreciate it, and so will they. After that, find my sister. She has a tendency to get into trouble when I'm not right beside her.
I'm not gonna be a refugee forever. Life's too short to always be on the run. I don't want anyone telling me where to sleep, when to eat, who to fight, or how to live my life. I want to be free. I want to make loads of money. Well, I have an opportunity set up already. There's a group called the Bitter Hand that provides limited protection to the local farms while collecting a reasonable protection fee. And I think I'll see if I can join them. I don't think I should say where they are. For all I know, you just want to edge in on my opportunity. You know, when I was attacked by those wolves, the thought crossed my mind that I might never see my Natalie again. I... I don't know how to thank you. They're back! And he is in so much trouble. Thank you. These poor bastards. They're just trying to find some place safe. But disaster seems to follow after them. Ah, a healer's poultice. Good. I'd prefer a bandage over a potion. I always found healing potions to taste rather like bog iron ale after it was strained through slutty horsehair. No, not a hair of her. I didn't even see her during the attack. I was back near the river cutting down blood feeds as fast as I could. Sorry I couldn't be more help. Give me a few moments to catch my breath, and I'll be back on my feet in no time. Thank you. For a noble, the Countess sure knows how to make a proper poultice. But I took a few hits, but I'm luckier than most, I suppose. I just hope none of my friends come back as blood fiends. I really don't want to deal with that. She ordered us to defend the camp and protect the refugees. Then she was off. Like a whirlwind, our captain is. I heard her shout something about spotting Rizal Jewel, but then she was too far away to hear over the sound of battle. Did... Countess Tamrith, give you a poultice for me? I could use a little something to dull this pain. Thank you. This will help my wounded arm. The vampires... They attacked without warning. We lost a lot of good people today. I saw her briefly. She was in the thick of things, fighting beside the rest of us. And she ran off chasing a dark cloud toward the river. It must have been the Argonian necromancer. The captain hates the dark arts, and she can't wait to stop him. Navy, though. He caught sight of Rizzle and rushed after him. I, of course, followed. His vampires surrounded us, and while I was fighting them off, the good captain was dragged away. They took Genevi into the cave. Hurry! We need to save her. I can barely stand. I'd just slow you down. 
I'll send reinforcements your way. If any show up, that is. I can't believe a blasted vampire actually got a decent cut in on me. But I was pretty busy trying to protect your navy. The House Tamworth sisters are both brave and good women. Please help your navy if you can. The Shornhelm soldiers were diligent enough. But I think that thrice damned Argonian used magic to mask their approach. They moved in so quickly and quietly that a good third of the camp was down before Genevi and I could react. Oh, yes, indeed. If I could get my hands on that damn lizard, I swear I'd make a pair of boots from his hide. And then I'd put them on and stomp through troll poop. But the people in the camp were just villagers. Now most are dead. Poor bastards. Yeah. Sad, very, very sad. Mother is hungry, but it makes me a little sick to watch her eat. Are you looking for the captain? They dragged her into the cave. Bad one is going to do terrible things to her. Rizal Jewel likes to take parts from different bodies and make entirely new creatures. That's probably what he'll do to the captain. Or turn her into a blood fiend. The cave is full of vampires. Maybe you should use the secret tunnel. Please, please don't hurt me. I need to take care of mother. I'll tell you what you want to know. The tunnel is over there. It's small. Hard to spot. Secret. I saw Rizal Jewel come in and out of there. There. I helped. Mother always says I should help. Mother. Just squeeze through there.
Children, feast on bones and If you blood. hurt my sister, I'll kill you myself! Rise, my children. Attack! Attack! 
the light! Genevi, my sister! You're alive! Wait, what happened to... No! No! Not you, Genevi! Not you! What? Where am I? Sister? What has he done to me? What, what have I done? Genevi! Oh, Genevi! We'll figure this out. Just stay calm. Please, I need your assistance. But instead, he... he turned me into a... a monster! Genevi, my sister. Rizal Jewel afflicted her with his blood curse. She's becoming a... a vampire. Vampires are evil. Totally, utterly evil. But by RK, this is my sister. I wish there was another way. But I must be strong. Vampires are unholy. Evil. I can't let my sister become one of these monsters. She has to die. It will be a mercy. Please, talk to Genevi. Try to comfort her while I pray over my decision. I can see it in your eyes. I'm turning, becoming one of those things. No, I refuse to give in to despair. I want to live. God damn it, I want to live! I heard what my sister said. She thinks I'm evil, unholy. But it's still me. I'm still the shield of House Tamrith. I'm still her little sister. We've seen it before. Not every vampire is a monster. I can control this. I... I want to live. Thank you, my friend. You are wise and merciful. I will prove to my sister that I am still the woman she knows and loves. I will never succumb to this affliction. I will never betray House Tamrith or Rivenspire. This decision will come back to haunt us. Mark my words. Let's just get out of this vile cave and... to save my sister wasn't a mistake. I shall look to RK for tolerance, but I'm not sure I'll ever accept that this vampire is really Genevi. Yes, our work here is done. Now, we must turn our attention to the traitorous Baron Montclair. But before we go, know that I am grateful you saved my sister. I just hope that your mercy doesn't turn out to be a terrible mistake. <laughs> 